Hey everyone, I'm having a bad hair day today, so I thought I'd start with the, my screen. But what we're looking at this week is soliloquies in Macbeth. So I asked you in Google Classroom to define a soliloquy. What is it? What part of speech is it? And can you use it in a sentence? Then we're going to move back actually in the plot to act two, scene one, and then move forward to act five, scene five, and have you guys in your groups compare and contrast with the questions on the assignment sheet I gave you. This is the first soliloquy we're going to watch, and we'll just get a little snippet of it here. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle toward my hand. Come. Let me clutch thee. I have thee not. And yet I see thee still. Art thou not fatal vision sensible to feeling as to sight? Or art thou but a dagger of the mind, a false creation proceeding from the heat oppressive brain? I see thee yet. Thou marshalest me the way that I was going, and such an instrument I was to use. <laughs> Mine eyes are made the fools of the other senses, or worth all the rest. So as you can see, Macbeth is alone. He's played by Patrick Stewart, the British, famous British actor, Sir Patrick Stewart, who is in Star Trek. So we're gonna use this in the beginning and then jump to this one, the end. This is a more modern interpretation of the play. Blood cry. The queen, my lord, is dead. She should have died here after. There would have been a time for such a word. saying, I hope that you are able to get an impression about his emotional state and certainly what's happening in the plot between the beginning of the play in the soliloquy, the dagger scene, act two, scene one, versus tomorrow and tomorrow, soliloquy, act five, scene five. So in your groups, check out those questions. 
and I hope that this sheds some light on the transition Macbeth's character undergoes throughout the course of this play. Have a good week, y'all.